What is going on, everybody? My Lutz, thank you so much for joining us today. This is going to be the coolest thing ever. Um, today, I'm going to walk you through how to set up a profitable advertising system using social media without wasting your money on something you can't even track. Because if you are like me or any other person who's ever owned a cleaning company, then you might have wasted a little bit of money trying to make Facebook ads work by yourself already, or you've paid some other people to help you make it work. Um, and I'm going to try and help show you guys how to fix those things. But first, I'd like to ask how much money have you wasted on Facebook ads? Like 100 bucks, 200? You one of those crazy folks that just like keep on trying because you know it's going to work. You spend a thousand dollars and still don't know how much new business and new revenue has actually been generated from the likes and comments that you've gotten on your Facebook ads. Um, well, in order to make this stuff work, there is some huge misconception that you need to understand. There are two very different uh, ways to give Facebook money in exchange for sponsored posts. Um, what most people do is they use boosted posts. So when you're on your business's Facebook page, you'll see the option to boost a post so that Facebook shares it to more people. And um, they're saying this one has more engagement than your other posts. It has 95% more engagement than every other post on your page. Boost it, give us $15 and we'll send it to more people. Um, that stuff is just so Facebook can get your money. Um, but the reality is if you are going to, you can give Facebook money and they will give you leads in return. They will give you people's information uh, in exchange for money, but you need to be doing it the right way. So there's a huge difference between boosted posts and, and uh, ad campaigns. If you can build out an advertising campaign, it can be really worth it. Um, the difference is the difference between a shotgun and a sniper. The boosted posts are your shotgun, and all it does is it just sends out a flare of potentially relevant information to uh, different people. And if the target is really far away, those Bullets are going to spray and get just around your target market, and they will not land where they need to. Um, versus an advertising campaign built with targeted demographics and all these cool things I'm going to show you here in a minute uh, is like a sniper rifle where you are zooming in. You probably even got someone next to you who's helping you with the trajectory of the bullets flying through the air and the wind and how far away the thing is. And um, you're going to hit the target almost every time when you're using a sniper rifle. So that's what you need to do is realize that you need to use an advertising campaign to legitimately target down on exactly who you want to want to find and get directly in front of the most relevant people. Um, so that's the kind of stuff I'm going to walk you through, but I wanted to introduce myself. My name is Owen Lutz. I got my GED at 16. I've been married for four years now. I'm 25, just turned 25 in May, and I do have my first baby on the way. I'm crazy, crazy excited about it. Um, I'm the youngest of seven children, born and raised in the suburbs of Atlanta, Georgia. Um, man, I had a, I really love doing what I'm doing because it helps, um, people get more time to spend more time with their family. Cause I know that my dad was an entrepreneur and he was always around. And when I was 19 years old, I asked him, I was like, dad, what do you, what do you do? <laughs> like all my friends, and dads are going to work, but you're always playing golf or like taking me out to lunch. Like, what do you do? And he said that he was, he's actually been a Christian business leadership consultant for the last 15 years after he sold a big business in uh, 2000. Um, so that was pretty awesome uh, to have gotten to learn from a guy like that. Um, so then that kind of led me on to start my own cleaning company with my wife right after we got married. It's called Quick House Cleaning Co. Um, within three months, we were both able to quit our jobs. My wife was a nanny and then we were both full-time cleaners. Um, and then within 18 months, we sold our book of business. Um, and that whole time that we were cleaning, every single house I was in, I would put my headphones in after we got started and I would listen to marketing content. I was downloading courses. I was buying things and I was just trying to learn as much as I could to grow my business because we were thinking we were going to franchise all this amazing stuff. But I'll tell you more about uh, my, my business here in a minute. Um, I'm now the co-owner and the creative director for Traffic and Flow, and throughout this whole presentation, Justin and I are hanging out, and we are here to answer any of, and all of your questions. So text us at 404-692-0016. Standard text messaging rates apply. <laughs> um, but this is my man, Justin, Justin Collier. He graduated seminary. How long ago was that, man? 2008. In 2008, Justin graduated seminary in 2008, and he's now been married for a few years with a beautiful little girl. He's been doing um, business development consulting for the last seven years. He's got a lot of experience in it. He's been helping cleaning companies for the last few, um, and he has 
uh, taken a new role as the head of sales and the head of strategic partnerships for Traffic and Flow. Um, so if you want to learn more about us, you can text us and say what's up. But we also have a very cool thing we want to give you. So uh, text us right now at 404 six nine two zero zero one six text us your name your business name and the number one question that you have about growing your business online and we're gonna pick five people to give a free snapshot report which will show all of the places that your business is online and figure out uh, what you need to do to improve your online presence so that you can get the the most out of all of the options that online has to offer for a local business like your cleaning company um, but we're going to pick five people to send that snapshot report to, and then we're also going to get on a call with those people and break down the whole report with them and show them where they're missing uh, potential revenue online, and we'll show them exactly what they need to do to, to start fixing those things. So text us right now, 404-692-0016. Text us your name, your business name, and what, the number one question you have about growing your business, and five of you will get a very cool message back that you won, and we will uh, help you get your business on track. It's going to be super fun. Um, I hope you win. So text us right now, 404-692-0016, and let's do this thing. My favorite band is a band called Fish, and this is my favorite quote of theirs. If you can heal the symptoms but not affect the cause, it's quite a bit like trying to heal a gunshot wound with gauze. This really digs deep for me. Um, a, lot, a long time I spent uh, diving into what was wrong in my life and trying to uh, make more money or do all these things that I thought were going to make me happy. And then eventually I found out that the – the way to affect the cause was to be be the change I wanted to see in the world. So I had to start waking up earlier and, and doing the things I wanted to do, continue studying and growing as a person. But the reality is that so many people just try to buy the quick fix or figure out exactly like the, the fastest way to fix their problems when – um, so, for instance, uh, a lot of people spend money on just buying leads. So somebody will tell you that what you need to grow your business is a bunch more leads, um, but what you really need is a whole system. Because if you can get attention on social media and get people to visit your website, if you can even get people to become a lead, that's just the gauze. That's just the band-aid. Getting the attention isn't going to bring you more money. What you really need is to get the attention and turn that attention into leads and then get those leads and turn them into customers. Get your customers and turn them into recurring monthly revenue for your business. Um, this is the kind of thing we want to show you how to do, and uh, if you stick around, we've got something really cool to show you how we can help you do that, because this is the stitches that stops the bleeding. So my goal for this presentation for you today is to show you that the only way for you to profitably advertise your business is through retargeting, and the only way to set up retargeting is through Facebook advertising. It's just the, the coolest, most in-depth way to learn about your customers and target them based on specific actions. So that's what retargeting is, is to send people a relevant offer after they've completed an action that shows that they're interested. That way you're not just blasting out offers to every, you know, everybody in the area. You're specifically spending money only to show your offer to the most relevant people. I'm going to show you a lot more about exactly that here in just a minute. Um, but imagine for a second that you are your own dream customer. You have a nice big house. It's not super dirty, but you have tons of friends and you have a whole lot of parties. You throw Super Bowl parties. You know, you do Easter egg hunts at your house with your, with your friends and they're always having people over. So they want to make sure their house is always clean and tidy. And if they have a good company, they'll probably refer them to their friends, right? So imagine that's you, you have a Super Bowl party coming up and you want to find the perfect cleaning company and hopefully somebody that can stick around and clean your house uh, year round. So you start scrolling through some uh, websites, you visit a couple of ones that look pretty good, but after window shopping for a couple hours, you know, maybe a couple of minutes, you decide you're going to go check out Facebook, see what your mom is up to, see what your best friend's doing tonight. And then all of a sudden, you see an advertisement that stops you in your tracks because it says, thank you. You say, why would somebody be spending money to thank me? And then you notice that it's actually uh, branded similarly to one of the websites that you were just visiting a second ago. And you say, oh, these people must care and they must be doing it right since they have enough money to spend on advertising. Right? So, uh, you send them an advertisement that says, thank you for visiting our website. We'd like to give you a free oven cleaning just in exchange for uh, for checking out our thing. So request a quote, schedule a time for us to come out, and if you don't even have us clean your house, we'll still clean your oven for free while we're there. Right? So that's the, that's the idea is 
wouldn't, wouldn't you guys see how valuable that could be if you're only spending money to visit to show an advertisement to people who have visited your website so that all the window shoppers that happen to find your business online, those people get really impressed with you and what you do and they want that first free thing. So they're excited to get on the phone with you when you call and say, Hey, I'd love to find out more about your house. How many bedrooms and bathrooms do you have? You know, if get the conversation started a whole lot easier if they already are familiar with your business and you know that they're already searching for what you have to offer. So imagine for a second that that happened and you got that message you saw that advertisement, you called into those people and you found a cleaning company for life. Wouldn't that, wouldn't you feel really good about working with a company like that? Um, now imagine that you're the company that's bringing the people in. Can't you imagine how awesome it would be to be able to only spend money on the people that are most interested in talking to you? That's what I'm going to show you guys how to do right now. But I want to tell you that this is, um, this is for the people who are ready to work on their business, not in their business. If you're ready to take take the reins and step step away from actually being inside cleaning every single house, um, I can imagine that you guys have watched tons of these videos over the last week and you've probably got an amazing amount of value out of this whole Made Service Success Summit. Um, I'm sure that uh, if you haven't yet, you need to go watch the videos on hiring and making sure you have a really good process to get really great cleaners and showing them that you care about them and developing a great culture in your business that you can have great employees so that you can step step back a little bit and start working on your business instead of in your business. But if you're still cleaning, it's okay. You just need to be up all night, every night, focusing on how to get out, you know, how to, how to grow your business um, and work on your business. Whenever you're not working in your business, you should be working on your business. That was hands down the reason my wife and I were able to quit our jobs within three months and start cleaning together when we were 21 years old and then uh, how we were able to quickly develop a book of business that was valuable enough to be able to sell it within 18 months. Um, it's, it's amazing if you can learn to start working on your business instead of in your business. This is for residential cleaning companies, specifically because Facebook does a great job of um, gathering information on homeowners and um, that demographic. Um, it will work, however, if you're doing uh, other types of cleanings from vacation rentals, all this other stuff. Um, but we, we like to focus specifically on residential cleaning companies, so that's what we're going to talk about today. Um, this is also for people who know the value of no. If you know your conversion rates, if you know that every um, out of every 10 people that are interested in your business, you're going to close two of them and turn them into recurring customers. You need to be very excited all the way up until you get eight no's. You know, seven no's means that one more and you're going to get two, two new people out of the next 10 leads, you know? Um, so it's about understanding that the people that don't work with you are just as valuable as the people that do want to work with you because of the law of averages, right? So again, this is for the people who are willing to take responsibility and do what's necessary to grow your business. Um, after working with a ton of uh, cleaning clients, one of the big things we realized that was in order to make this stuff work, there's a very large learning curve to get these people to um, figure out exactly they need to be doing in order to make this stuff work. So that's what we're going to show you guys today is uh, all the all the back end stuff of running successful advertising campaigns is going to go from getting their attention, turning them into leads, turning leads into customers and customers into monthly recurring revenue. So this is not for lazy business owners that are scared of being on the phone, um, that uh, you know think the world might owe you something, um, or people who like just clean houses. If you are a happy, content cleaner and all you want to do is have you know 20 clients that pay you every month, you're done at six o'clock and you know that you'll make just enough money to keep keep the bills paid, and um, you don't want to grow a big business, then this might not be for you. Um, and this is also definitely not for anybody who will not follow up. If you don't have what it takes to um, create a follow-up system of your own that works for you, that allows you to continually reach out to people until they tell you that they're definitely not interested. Because you don't know, maybe you missed them, maybe you call them four times and you just think to yourself, this person's not, not a good fit, that's not who I wanna work with. But maybe all four times they had two kids in their arm and their phone was ringing and they just didn't get to it. You know, you never, you never know. So it's always worth it to deliver a good quality service. Um, it's always worth it to follow up with people until you know for sure that they're not interested.
So again, stick around to the very end because we have an amazing offer that is guaranteed to help you grow where uh, we'd like to help show you exactly how you can develop your own marketing system that you own and how you can create one that goes all the way from attention to recurring monthly income from new customers as well as a really awesome referral system to make sure that all your recurring customers send you more recurring customers. Very cool stuff. So we've done a lot of things right um, in the last few years. Um, with my own business, we were uh, really quickly able to um, fill up our whole schedule, uh, and it was really awesome. I was able to quit my job, and like I mentioned, it was super fun um, just getting to work with my wife all the time and then getting home, be able to work on our business, on our website, other marketing tactics. Um, it was a lot of fun, but we also did a lot of things wrong, specifically um, closing down my business too soon. We had I had, was still learning so many great marketing techniques that I was – thrilled to jump into the marketing world um, so when we saw the opportunity to sell what we were doing um, we just we jumped at we jumped at the opportunity and uh, I would have liked to have gone back and really hung out with it because in those two years we learned a whole lot of great stuff for instance that people want a professional organized cleaning company who can quickly explain how how it all is going to work and how they can get started they want to be able to book a cleaning quickly and easily on their own time um, and that sales rarely are going to happen on the first interaction. So a lot of times people will see our business online and they would not quest, request a quote right then. And then uh, later they would see that we were tagged in a Facebook group by the admin of a very large uh, connections group in Atlanta. And then they would say, oh, I saw this website. I'm glad that they're on your preferred vendors list. And then they would reach out to us and get a quote. Um, but it was always, almost always, um, you know, the third, fourth, or fifth interaction that they heard about us before they were really jumping on it. That's why these one-off, get a big discount Facebook ad campaigns are not always going to be the best option for this specific industry. You need to be able to uh, engage with people multiple times before you're requesting, uh, before you start trying to sell them anything. Oh, yeah, I apologize. But I discovered all this stuff the hard way. So you get to cheat, and I'm going to show you guys the easy way. The hard way was uh, this is kind of our, our plan. At first when we were doing it, my wife and I would just always be on our phones waiting inside a group called Connections I Have I Need where people were always requesting cleaning services. And when they would, we would reach out to those people. We'd comment on the post. Let's say, hey, I'm sending you a message. And then we would send them a message right away with a little template that says um, our unique selling proposition and then said, if you're interested, you can go visit our website. And uh, so my unique selling proposition, the thing that helped me try and stand out was that my wife and I used all natural homemade essential oil based ingredients and we had the quickest and easiest online scheduling process. Click the link just to see how it works. And tons of people would go to it, but we would just repeat this pros process as soon as the prospect went with somebody else with a, with a lower price. Because anybody who's searching like that was always trying to find the best deal. And then they would wait till 15, 20 cleaning companies reached out to them and would say, oh, I'll do it for $60. Uh, you don't want to play that game. Uh, it's a race to the bottom. It is not going to be the best way for you to grow a legitimate business. Um, you need to elevate yourself above it so that when people say, yeah, you can go with the $60 cleaning, but I'm going to walk through with a clipboard and a white glove before we get started to prove to you why we're better than the $60 cleaning. And then we're going to show you time and time again why, why it's worth it to uh, pay a little bit more. Because in business, when the value that someone gets for it exceeds the price, they buy every single time. All right, so do you want to see the easy way that eliminates the whole race to the bottom process? All right, so I've been going quickly. I can imagine you got some questions. Don't forget to reach out to us at 404-692-0016. And if you send in your name, your business name, and answer the, the number one question that you have uh, about growing your business online, then we're going to give away a free snapshot and the coaching call to help get your business on track. But go ahead and text us, 404-692-0016. Um, in the past month, I helped another company get 43 new leads and they sold seven new monthly customers worth $24,000. Um, and that was all only retargeting people who had already visited their website. So the girls that owned this company had already done a really great job of getting their uh, website out there. So they had um, local news networks were promoting their website on different articles. They had uh, the Atlanta Journal-Constitution was promoting it. 
and all these other amazing places. Um, they had a huge Instagram that had tons of followers. And so anytime they posted their website, a bunch of people would go check it out. But by retargeting them, and uh, since then, we've been another half a month since this last thing. And we have 57 new leads and nine people have uh, bought for like a total of 32,000, I think. Unbelievable. So um, just here on the left, that is from that is a screenshot from our lead management software so that anytime we do generate a lead for somebody, they get to go in and see this. They get notified right away. Those are the first seven people that bought from the first 43 leads that we got. But we got those leads for $5 a piece. So they spent $200 on advertising and got uh, $32,000. Uh, it's in lifetime recurring value. So I'm going to show you guys all that cool stuff, but this is the basic idea. I know it's kind of a lot, but check this out. Um, at the top left, we would we went to their website, which is already getting a ton of views, and uh, we can also do it through um, email lists they've subscribed to or any videos that they've watched, and we can uh, take those people and create audiences inside of Facebook's ad managing platform, and then we can spend money to show these people an advertisement that's already engaged with us once before that says at the top right, get a free oven cleaning when you book today. And then it would go to this process where they would enter their information and become a new lead. And then the business would get notified, that's you. And then once you get notified, you're able to give them a call and then you're able to turn that into more money. You guys see how this works? It's a little bit complicated, but once you are able to create audiences based on actions that they've taken, whether they viewed your website, got on your email list, or watched your videos, you can then send them a relevant offer because you know that they're interested in your business. This is how you turn advertising into money. No joke. We have three secrets we want to share with you today, um, and this is it. How to reverse engineer the numbers to instantly reveal what you need to do to rapidly grow your business. Um, if you do not know your conversion rates and stuff, then you've got to stick around because this stuff is huge. Um, we're going to go through all the numbers that are most important to make sure uh, that you're able to profitably spend money on advertising. If you're not there yet, then you shouldn't be spending money. You should be calling everybody in your network from your parents, best friends, the people who have known you since you were little. Call them and say, hey, I just started a cleaning company. I was wondering, since like you know me and you know that I'm going to deliver amazing service, um, do you have anybody who might be interested in talking to me about that? That's your first step, but I digress. Secret number two is the biggest mistake in the cleaning industry today and how you can avoid it using the Facebook pixel. Unbelievable. That's going to be a, that's going to be a monster section here. And then secret number three is going to be how to get interested prospects to view your website so that secret number two actually works. All right, tell me, are you fired up about this? This is going to be amazing. I'm really, really excited about it. If you are, text yes, yes I am to 404-692-0016, and this is, uh, this is going to be a whole lot of fun. So we will dive right into secret number one, how to reverse engineer the numbers to instantly reveal what you need to do to rapidly grow your business. All right, so in order to make this happen, you need to understand the idea of a sales funnel. Um, up at the top, you'll see what we call traffic is the people. That's uh, you want to get a long line of people waiting to uh, fall into your sales funnel. So whether that's through Facebook, Google, Yelp, Home Advisor, uh, Thumbtack, Yellow Pages, YouTube, all of these, all of these places that you can find and retarget people, you want to get grab all the traffic that you can and get them started in your process. So. Um, then they'll become leads, and then you'll have a sales process, which will help turn those leads into more legitimate prospects. So once you know that they are in the right area, that they are uh, the good fit for you, you're going to have a couple of less people. And then you will turn those prospects into customers by getting them to allow you to come over to their house and clean for the first time. And then you need to have an amazing process that sits down with them and builds a relationship so that they know the value of a relationship with you if they were to continue doing monthly service and then you ascend them to become clients that pay you month and month and month after month um, and the money just keeps dumping out the bottom so that's the idea of a sales funnel um, this is what we call traffic and flow the traffic is getting the people so that we know we can retarget them and the flow is the smooth process of taking someone from a lead and not being salesy or forceful but just easily walking them through what to expect, what it's like to work with you. And if you can do that really well, just go with the flow, then it'll start to work. Um, but you gotta get the traffic and then you gotta go with the flow. All right, so check it out. Let's dive into some numbers. Uh, do you know the lifetime value of your customers? Very simple equation. We'll give you the answer right now. 
Um, so you got to figure out first, how much does your average customer spend with you per month? Um, so for my cleaning company, it was about $200 a month because we had, um, we focused on getting people to buy weekly cleanings. Um, so we would do, uh, the minimum that we would do is a hundred dollars per cleaning. And we did, uh, most people were around there, but, um, we had a couple of people that were at like 160 for just monthly cleanings, which brought us down to about $200 per month was how much our average customer would spend with us every month. And, uh, you know, the industry average, uh, is a little bit higher than two years, but let's just go ahead and say for, uh, the presentation's sake that, uh, the average customer stays with you for 24 months. But what is that for your business? Think about, think about these numbers, um, through your own, through your own business. Uh, how long has your customer stayed with you? Do you have a business that people stay with you for six years, seven, 10, then you'll understand that the va lifetime value of your customers can be a whole lot. So the lifetime value of one of our customers would have been $4,800. You with me? Does that make sense? Figure out how much average customer is, then how much they continue to pay you month after month. And then so it tells you lifetime value of a customer is just under $5,000. So then the next big question you need to ask is how much can you afford to spend to pay for leads? Uh, if you know this, if you know this process, then you can figure out a way to get those leads for enough that you can remain profitable. So first you need to know your conversion rate. Um, if you have two, okay. So think about it this way. How many new recurring customers can you close from 10 new leads? Let's say for every 10 leads you get, you talk to six people and then from those six people, you get to clean for four of them. And then of those four, two of them turn into monthly recurring customers. Right. That would mean that your conversion rate to your ideal customer is 20 percent out of uh, every 10 new leads. So then of those two people, you multiply those by your lifetime value. And that's ninety six hundred dollars in lifetime value. That's almost ten thousand dollars that just two customers is worth. And then if you think about the industry standard, which should be at 30 percent profit, if you're not, then you need to raise your prices. Um, that is something that being in the Zen made mastermind group, I noticed very quickly, there's a lot of people that were charging, uh, way too little. Um, and then asking, how can I, how can I make this better for me? It's like, well, you got to charge twice as much. Um, but I digress. Uh, if you do have a 30% profit, which is where you should be, then your profit for every 10 leads that you get is $2,880. So then divide that by 10. That means each lead is worth $288 cash in hand that means profit people um in your pocket uh so that means you can spend you know two hundred dollars to acquire an a lead and still know that you're going to be profitable if you have a 20 percent conversion rate of turning two out of every 10 people into monthly recurring customers do you guys recognize that if you know that you can spend this much money that it's definitely worth it all right i'll show you guys a little bit more in depth here Let's say that you uh, spent $160 in, per month in ad spend. So earlier I showed you that uh, we were getting them leads for $4.58. And then think about it this way. So let's, let's double those numbers and say that you get $8 leads. $8 per lead and you spend $160 per month in ad spend. That would mean that your business can get 20 new leads and profit $5,760. If you're able to close four of those into monthly recurring customers. So we're talking profit again here. This means that um, you would actually be at 9,600 times two, almost $20,000 in, in revenue, meaning you can pay your people, you can get good supplies, you can spend more money on advertising. I'm telling you, you get $5,760 in profit from spending $160 per month in ad spend. So I'm going to keep showing you guys exactly how to do this stuff. But first, I want you to recognize that these are the numbers you need to know. What's your conversion rate? How much can you spend to acquire a lead profitably? If, and then if you know those numbers and you know you can do things like $8 per lead using retargeting campaigns, then this stuff is a no freaking brainer. All right, check this, check this out. Do you know your numbers? Well, now you do. This is how to... It reverse engineer the numbers to instantly reveal what you need to do to rapidly grow your business. Come on, tell me you got some questions. Hit us up 404-692-0016. We would love to try and uh, help you understand any of the stuff I'm going over. So secret number two, hands down, biggest mistake in the cleaning industry today and how you can avoid it. All you got to do is pay attention. 
The biggest mistake in the cleaning industry today is spending money on social media to send people to a website without tracking who is viewing your website. All you gotta do is install the Facebook pixel, but I needed to pause for a moment so that you guys understand that if you are spending money right now and you're not doing this, this is hands down the biggest mistake in the industry today because you might spend, you know, five, 10, $20 to get people to visit your website. And then if they don't ever contact you or anything, you just lose them. And then you'd have to spend more money on them again to get them. All right, you get it. You got to check it out. I spent, Five minutes earlier, uh, looking through cleaning companies in New York, I just Googled it. And then what I found was this company. Um, if this is you, then uh, text us real quick and be like, I can't believe you used my website and I'll give you, I'll give you this free thing. <laughs> just hit me up and I'll, I'll apologize. But I, seriously, it took me two seconds to find somebody who was spending money on Google ads to go to this website and they did not have a pixel on their website, which means as soon as I left, I was gone for good. They probably have sent so much money to see people in the Manhattan area visit their website and then, and then nothing. There's no way for them to retarget those people. So all you have to do is go to business.facebook.com. Take out your notebook, write this down. Go to business.facebook.com. Um, over there on the top right, you'll click create an account. And when you do that, it'll walk you through how to uh, set up your business account so that you can connect your Facebook page. You'll be walked through the process of creating an advertising account. Um, and connecting all this stuff. It's uh, very self-explanatory. And then you'll find on the top right, once you do get logged in, um, the top left, I apologize, there's a menu. And then you'll find the Facebook Pixel button. Once you do that, you'll click that and you'll go to here where it'll say uh, all the cool things you can do with the Facebook Pixel. You'll hit boom, create a pixel. And then over here on the left, you get to name your pixel and then type in the website that you want it on. And this, this pixel, uh, just to further explain what it is, is just a snippet of code that goes onto your website so that it tracks everybody that views your website. And then it cross references Facebook's data so that if any of the people that viewed your website also have a Facebook page, this will allow you to send a notification or send a advertisement to their Facebook news feed because you know they viewed your website. Um, this is just a little, it's a one by one pixel. So it's one of the colored dots on your screen is something that's tracking you uh, anytime you visit someone's website. So that's how retargeting works. So once you create your pixel, you'll go over here on the right side and you'll see that you can connect a partner platform. So whether you're using Wix, Squarespace, or you have a GoDaddy account or um, WordPress, any of these things, you can connect a partner platform, make it easy, but you can also manually install the pixel code yourself. Um, so that will, uh, pretty self-explanatory. You will be able to, uh, locate the header code for your website. So if you go to settings on whatever your website manager is or, uh, Google it, because you can always, this is a very Googleable process. Um, you like that word Googleable? Yeah. Justin thought it was funny. Um, <laughs> so then you will copy this code that you see right here. It says the Facebook pixel code. You'll copy that and you will put it into the header tag of your website. Once you do that, Anybody who views your website will get retargeted and then in your business manager account, which you just created, you will be able to go in and grab an audience of people who have visited your website but did not submit a lead form. That way you can retarget people who are interested but didn't take the first step yet and you can get them to take that first step with your business. Um, this is how it looks. You go, uh, you put the thing on your website and then you create an audience of people who view your website but not become a lead, then you spend money for them, just a whole lot less money than you would boosting posts at you know, you know, $20, $30 a piece. You can spend five to $10 a piece to send somebody one that says, get a free oven cleaning when you book today. And then when that new lead enters their information, your business will get notified. You can give them a call and you can turn that into more money for your business. Excuse me. Unreal. Okay, does that make sense? Do you guys see the value here that if you could do this, how you could save tons of money and once you set up a system like this and then you can develop your uh, sales pitch so that everybody who engages with your business knows exactly what you're all about. If, they, if you can easily articulate your core values and why you do what you do and how easily you can walk them through this stuff, um, you, can, you can really make this, you can do this. Um, 
I was talking to an old monk one time and they told me that there are no person, there are no business problems, just personal problems that show up in business. Um, that really hit home with me because I am a firm believer that as human beings, we have an unlimited amount of potential to accomplish uh, goals and to strike down obstacles in our way. Um, and I think that you as a person who has already taken the leap to be a business owner are uniquely suited to do just that. So please, please take the responsibility for your own business and recognize that all the things that are stopping you is really just you letting them stop you. Does that make sense? If you want more information about that, text me 404-692-0016. I would love to talk about your unique potential as an, as an individual. It would make me so happy to help you understand that you can do this. Again, we're giving away free snapshot reports. We're going to give you a phone call. We're going to talk to you about your business. We're going to help you organize, tell you what you need to do to start improving your online presence so that your business gets more attention online and then follow the rest of the stuff and you'll be able to start retargeting all the people that are coming to your website because of the attention. But we're giving that away to five people. So text us right now at 404-692-0016 and uh, text us your name, your business name, and the number one question you have about growing your business online. And then we're going to reach out to five people to give you a free snapshot report of your business's online listings and all that cool stuff. And then we'll get on the phone with you and show you exactly how we can help you do this stuff. You know what? I'm actually going to show you what one of those reports looks like. So check it out. This is uh, one of the ports we ran recently. Um, it's hard. It's really hard to get a good score on this, especially the first time. We have not seen anybody over 40%, so don't get scared when you see these numbers. But this is the type of stuff that's consistent throughout the cleaning companies we've helped. Um, listings, uh, very low. Sometimes people like, only have Facebook on there. Um, there's three other social sites that were not found, Google, all this other stuff. There's even videos here so that you can actually see um, what it means to have listings. Um, you'll get all this other cool stuff. We'll show you that your uh, business listings are missing information, um, how to take control of your reviews and your reputation. Again, a video to explain what all this stuff means. Um, this snapshot report is no joke. So again, text us real quick and uh, we'll, die, we'll show you one of those. Um, five people will get a free snapshot report, which explains all the different areas your business could be online, all this cool stuff. You got to check it out. Okay. Now, you feel like you know the biggest mistake in the cleaning industry today is wasting money online, not being able to retarget people? Okay, you can avoid it by going to business.facebook.com, setting up a Facebook pixel right now, and creating a very simple advertisement to only target people who have viewed your website but did not become a lead. Oh my goodness. Uh, do you guys see how cool this stuff is? I'm not kidding. I'm, I'm so thrilled that Justin and I get to share this stuff with you um, and, and even more excited to share with you what we got in a little bit. But secret number three. How to get interested prospects to view your website so that secret number two actually works. This is the fun stuff. This is what I uh, always enjoyed the most with my own business. Um, and it's definitely what I enjoy most and why I got into marketing was um, I just love social media. I'm always live on Facebook. I've had over a thousand people watch me eat Chick-fil-A, which is a, I'm sure everybody knows Chick-fil-A, right? Maybe not. Chick-fil-A is an amazing restaurant, the best sandwiches ever. They got, they're so good. But I was eating a sandwich live on Facebook, and I had over 1,000 people watch me eat that, eat that sandwich. It was, it was wild. Social media is an unbelievable tool. Uh, if people will watch you eat a sandwich, imagine if they actually engaged with your business. So a uh, couple of great ways to make sure that you're getting people to view your website online. Um, number one, you got to go to Google My Business. So go to Google, type in Google My Business, and fill out the most accurate information you can um, so that Google will be able to show you to the most relevant people who are searching for you. If you don't have that, it's almost impossible that you'll ever show up on Google search. Um, so make sure you do that. And if you've already done that, then you need to go through the rest of your business listings online from uh, Home Advisor. Yellow Pages, all these places have already taken a little bit of your business's information and put it on there, but you need to go through now and make sure that it's all accurate. And if it is, then they're sending people to your website, bada bing, bada boom. You can set up a retargeting campaign. You're retargeting people that have viewed your website just because Yellow Pages spent money to get people to search for businesses and search for services on their website. So then if your business is on there, you're winning. And I like winning. All right, also make sure you get on news appearances. 
we had a client who did a really great job um, getting on Fox and talking about cleaning for a purpose. Um, I'm still really excited. I would, I'm really going to hope to be able to help her use that to get a whole lot more um, attention. And then we'll set up a really sweet retargeting campaign so that she can uh, retarget all the people that know that she cleans for, cleans for a purpose. Um, really cleaning for a reason. Is that what it was called? Yeah. Um, so go get on the news, talk about your business, um, tell your story. That's what people want on the news. They want you to have an interesting story, which as a human being, you have one share where you came from, why you wanted to get into the industry, why you started your business. Um, was it for your family? Was it to get out of a, did you have to move to a new city and didn't know what to do? And you know, you've probably got a great story. Figure out a way to share that story with a link to your website and people will follow through and click on it. And then there are very cool ways to do content marketing. I'll show you that stuff in a second. But you also got to make sure that your car magnets are um, easily visible because if you have a very short, easy to read domain name, a website name, um, for my, mine was Quick House Clean. So anybody who saw a very big sticker on uh, my or my wife's car would be able to think, oh, quick house clean. I can easily remember that. Go home, be like, what was that thing I saw? Oh, yeah, quick house clean. And then .com. Check it out, and then they were able to go come back. It was really cool. So having car magnets is great. And then making really good connections. So go to networking meetings in your area. Meet up with people. And if you tell people about your business, they will tell their friends. So you get on vendor lists for real estate agents. That was a really big one for me is I met up with, I would go to real estate conferences and tell them that I owned a cleaning company. And if you needed anybody to clean a house in the Atlanta area, me and my team will be there. Um, get on vendor lists and then go to local bloggers. Um, that was a huge one for uh, this other company. They got 43 leads for real cheap. They had uh, links on all sorts of popular bloggers websites about their town. They all had a link back to this, this company. Um, and so that was a huge one for them. So uh, that's a couple of great ideas. Um, I definitely recommend Googling business, getting on local blogs and uh, doing your business listings. Uh, those are the main ones. But my favorite is five minute Facebook lives. Uh, if you go live on Facebook and show your company culture, which you should be developing a company culture, you need to have all your employees know who you are, why you do what you do, and why they should want to help you do what you do. Um, that stuff needs to be ingrained in their brains. And the way to do that is through a serious company culture. So anytime somebody comes to pick up their supplies and go get to work, you need to have a cool um, routine where like you guys have a handshake with like each person or whatever it is, whether you give them donuts or have pancakes in the morning when you're getting the day started with your team. If you have team meetings, go live on Facebook, show that stuff real quick, introduce your team to the people. Um, so few of you are putting videos online, actually showing who you are and what you do. And nobody, nobody knows. So you'll immediately stand out if you can articulate who you are, what you do and why you do what you do. Um, a lot of people will immediately be attracted to your business. Um, so you also want to show the area that you work in. So if you have a town square with a nice fountain, go down there and go live and just do a live stream where you say, Hey, my name's John. I own this cleaning company. I uh, am in this area. If you ever see next time you see this fountain, think of me and uh, reach out to me and I'll give you 10% off your first cleaning uh, because you mentioned the fountain, you know, do something like that. And uh, people will be, will go there they'll be like oh yeah i saw that cleaning guy and then if if you can put a sign that's visible from that fountain somebody might see your video then be next to that fountain and think what was that cleaning company and then see your sign and then go to your website and then get retargeted you got to have the whole process figured out and you got to do a lot of really cool stuff um so show off your team working go to your uh customers houses film your team actually getting down and dirty and, and scrubbing baseboards and cleaning windows and using cool tools that most people don't have the extendable dusters to get the cobwebs, you know, show your team doing stuff that, you know, people can't do for their own house. Do that stuff live on Facebook. Someone will be like, you know what? I need that. So very, very important stuff. I think going live on Facebook and doing video um, because it is also retargetable. You can retarget people based on how much of a video they viewed, whether they watched 50% of it. So if you go live and the first 75% of your video is you just saying cool things about your business, and then at the last 25%, you do a little pitch for um, requesting a quote, 
then you know that anybody who watched more than 75% of your video saw that offer already. So you can retarget them and say, hey, I noticed that you saw this video. What's stopping you from getting a quote? Starts an engagement in the next advertisement you post. A lot of amazing options to do here, but I still think the biggest thing is to go live, show your company culture, introduce your team, the area you work in, and show off your team working, and then uh, with a link to your website, and then those uh, people will get retargeted based on the system I showed you earlier of how to log in to business.facebook.com, set up your pixel, and set up a retargeting campaign to start sending those things out. Um, and always use memes. Everyone and their mother loves memes. Memes are hilarious. This is a great one. Whoever said money can't buy happiness obviously never hired a maid. That's, that's true. It's amazing. Having somebody that you love coming in to clean your house and doing a great job is an invaluable service. Um, one, you should be charging more because of how amazing it is to actually be able to help people this way. Um, and then you should also be using memes to describe and eat, quickly articulate to anybody scrolling past um, how awesome you are because you are hip. You are with it. You know what I'm saying? So now you know how to get interested prospects to view your website so that secret number two actually works. We're waiting. Hit us up. You got questions? We've got answers. 404-692-0016. Oh my goodness, let me ask you a question now. If you did go through those numbers, if you reverse engineered the numbers and instantly revealed what you needed to do to rapidly grow your business, if you went back through and looked at the last hundred people to reach out to your business, figure out how many of those people you did convert into monthly recurring customers and how many of those people you converted into first time cleanings. Um, can, do you think you'd be able to do more with your business if you actually tracked your numbers and then reverse engineered them to know how much money you can spend to afford a lead? Do you think that you'd be able to find more success in your business if you were able to do that? Um, if you avoided the biggest mistake in the cleaning industry today and started tracking everybody who viewed your website, do you think that you could get leads for cheaper than everybody else because you're retargeting them based on their actions? Do you think that you'd be more successful because of it? I sure do. What about you, Justin? Absolutely. See, Justin gets it. Secret number three. Do you guys, do you guys, are you guys with me? Do you need me to ask you this one too? How, if you did, Get interested prospects to start viewing your website so that they were able to get retargeted by the Facebook pixel. Do you think you could be successful with a system like this? Well, I, I definitely do. I think that you can find success if you figure out how this stuff works and how it works specifically for your business and you take the time to start working on your business instead of in your business and started developing a marketing system that works for you, that gets you attention online, make sure that you're visible, that then turns that visibility into new leads and then a simple sales process and understanding how to get the most out of every interaction with your customers so that you can turn them into new customers and then how to quickly turn new customers into recurring customers and then how to get those recurring customers and customers and turn them into uh, referral generating machines. Uh, that's what you need for your business and I, we wanna help you do that. Um, I can imagine that you probably feel like this guy with a fire hose of information being blasted at your face. And I'm sorry, but this is what it takes. Uh, it's complicated, but it's not because it's really just doing what you need to do. So I got to ask, did you think that this was, this stuff was cool? Do you? I do. Do you see how valuable the system can be? And are you a little bit more comfortable with the idea of running advertising cap campaigns instead of boosting posts? Because that's what I was really trying to do here is convince you guys that spending money on boosting posts is a bad idea and you need to go get an ads manager account, which is Facebook makes it easy for you. That stuff is it should not be scary. Facebook wants you to be able to go and give them money. And if they can help you do it properly, then they can get a lot of more money from you. If you're boosting posts and it doesn't really work, you might they might get $800 from you. But if you can start making this stuff work and profitably spend money to acquire customers and know your conversion rates, then you'll give Facebook however much money you want based on however much money you want. Does that make sense? Very cool stuff. So is it fair to say that using these techniques, using these techniques would give you a big advantage over your competition? 
I think it would, especially if you start using video, because so few cleaning companies are doing a great job using video. So if you start doing that, it is huge. Get yourself out there. It is worth it. No one's going to be mean to you. Actually, someone might be mean to you, but that's going to happen no matter what you're doing. You've got to get thicker skin and raise your prices. <laughs> so special offer. You know it was coming. How could you not know it was coming? I just asked you a bunch of yes questions in a row. That's part of the sales game. If you didn't know that, that's part of the sales game. I was trying to get you to say yes a whole lot so that you'd be really interested in working with us. It's called Yes Momentum. So uh, we want to give you a special offer so that you can actually get everything you need, everything you need to know to de develop your own marketing system. Uh, from getting attention, turning them into leads, leads into customers and customers into monthly recurring customers, we want to show you exactly how to do that. And if you act fast, I'm going to give you a special deal. So it's a total value of $13,773, and it's a six-week masterclass on how to grow your business. What's going on? Uh, business Accelerator Workbook. We're going to do a walkthrough of how to set up the pixel with a coaching call, a retargeting campaign. We're going to give you follow-up scripts, the lead management software. And Oh, that's right. I forgot they told us we weren't allowed to do a whole long pitch on here. I forgot. That's all right. If you are interested in checking that out and you want to see exactly how we can walk you through the development of your own automated marketing system, I promise the industry has never seen anything like this. Go to trafficandflow.com slash made summit offer right now and you will get to see exactly what we have to be able to show you how we can hold your hands and through a six week masterclass, we are going to, uh, Week one, answer all your questions based on the people that have responded and telling us what's the number one question they have um, in growing their business online. We're going to answer those questions and give you the exact meat and potatoes that you need to grow your business live in a Facebook group. So this Facebook group will contain all the other people that have joined this same masterclass. And when they do, you'll be able to work with them on what's worked and what hasn't. And we will be going live uh, once a week for for six weeks, really showing you guys exactly how to do this stuff. So if you want to see all that comes with this ridiculous offer, um, I want I want to show you guys exactly how we can walk you through the development of your own marketing system. Industry's never seen anything like it. I promise. Go to trafficandflow.com slash made summit offer. Type that into your browser. And once you go check it out, obviously, you know we're going to be retargeting you. You know it. And uh, and then we'll give you a really sweet pitch and show you um, – no joke, how to build an automated marketing system. This is, the, this is the kind of thing you've been waiting for. You've been waiting for someone to show you how to do it. You don't want to pay someone just to give you half the system. You don't want to pay somebody just to deliver leads and then tell you that you're not doing your job well enough. What you want is someone to hold your hand and show you exactly how to do it. That's what we want to do. We want to answer your questions live on each training to make sure that you are understanding this information and completing the action steps along the way. I'm telling you, this is something you're going to want to see, and it's not crazy. Um, go to trafficandflow.com slash made summit offer, and we'll get started as soon as, soon as you're ready. This is the coolest, coolest thing you'll see. Um, and so I want to thank you guys so much for stopping by and watching this presentation. I know it's been a long week watching tons of stuff. I bet you've been pitched to death, and I'm sorry that I'm about to do it to you again, but go to trafficandflow.com slash made summit offer, and we'll show you guys exactly um, how we can walk you through the development of your own automated marketing system. Do it. Do it, do it, do it. And don't forget, text us at 404-692-0016 with your, your name your business's name, and the number one question you have about growing your business online. That way, when we start doing these classes, we can be answering your questions live and developing content specifically around what you folks want. This is only for people that are watching the Made Service Success Summit. We're not letting anybody else in. We're not doing any other advertising to try and get people in to see this. This is specifically for the people watching this video. So if you do, if you enter in that information, five of you will be getting a free snapshot report as well as a coaching call to help you organize what you need to do to start getting your business on the right track. Um, you guys, Justin and I, when we were building this whole thing out, only thing we were thinking was how can we deliver the most amount of value to the most amount of people? That's what we wanted. We wanted to make sure that we could make a lot of people happy and build a lot of cool stuff. So that's what we're going to do for you. Go to made traffic and slash made success summit. You'll get all this really cool stuff. Total value of $13,000. Oh my goodness. Do it. Traffic and slash made made summit offer. Rock and roll. Do it.
trafficandflow.com. Made Summit offer. This is for you. Thank you.